Good evening. I'm Joanna Adams, and I just talked these gentlemen into remembering that ladies go first. <laughs> it's an honor for me to be here tonight. Uh, I remember a story that uh, I've heard Rabbi Sugarman tell about a very senior rabbi who was teaching his students as to how they could tell the difference between evening and morning, and most specifically, how they could tell when the night was over and morning had begun. And his students all had ideas. One said, it's when you hear the rooster crow that you know the night is over. Another said, it's when you can see a silhouette of a tree against the horizon. And the wise older rabbi said, here's how you can tell. It's when you see a stranger or someone who is different from you and you recognize that person as your sister, as your brother, until we can do that as a human society. It will be night, and the dawn will not have come. So I'm here to be a candle in the darkness. And looking out at you, I'm inspired by the light we make together to lift our society to higher ground and to learn how to honor all people. In my Christian tradition, November the 1st was All Saints Day. Now, I'm a Protestant, and we don't have official saints, but my favorite saint is St. Francis of Assisi, for whom our current pope is, he chose his name. And I'd like to invite you to listen to these ancient words from a 13th century man of God who taught us how to live and how to treat one another. Lord, St. Francis prayed, make me an instrument of your peace. Where there's hatred, let me sow love. Where there's injury, pardon. Where there is doubt, faith. Where there is despair, hope. Where there is darkness, light. O oh, divine master, grant that I may not so much seek to be consoled as to console, to be understood as to understand, to be loved as to love. For it is in giving that we receive and in pardoning that we are pardoned. And may I say to you, my friends, may it be so with us. Let us always return hatred and meanness with love and civility. Amen. Salam Aleichem, Shalom Aleichem. Friends, I'm delighted to be here this evening at the annual ISB Gala Awards Banquet for many reasons. First and foremost, if Sumaya Khalifa asked me to fly to the moon tonight, I would go. <laughs> she is an extraordinary leader of our city and our community and deserves our praise and gratitude this evening. <laughs> Second, I just returned from Morocco just a few days ago with 15 ministers, imams, and rabbis. Sounds like the start of a, a really bad joke. Imam Mansour Sabri, who's here, was with me. And we studied with the great Sheikh bin Bai on the importance of protecting the rights of religious minorities in predominantly Muslim-majority countries. And I come back from that trip ever extra charged and rejuvenated to roll up my sleeves with my interfaith partners in Atlanta and to do God's work together. The third reason I'm excited to be here is because I think the world of the four 
award winners this evening. They are my friends, they are my colleagues, and like all of you, they are for me my heroes. Arthur Blank, Dr. Bazara, Bishop Wright, and the Honorable Sally Yates make our community and our world better and more just every single day, and I love you all. And finally, I'm delighted to offer a prayer this evening because I love to pray. And in a world that is dividing us, prayer and this communal gathering can bring us together to share our common beliefs and ideologies. We sit together as one, and yet each of us at our own tables is strangely solitary in God's presence. Each of us comes here with our own worries and our own concerns for the world in which we live. Each of us has a prayer no one else can utter, praise no one else can offer, and each of us feels joy no one else can share. We look at the world around us and we see that we have taller buildings but shorter tempers, wider freeways but narrower points of view. We spend more but have less, we buy more but enjoy it less. We have bigger houses and smaller families, more conveniences but less time. We have more degrees and less common sense, more knowledge but less judgment, more experts and more problems, more medicine and less wellness. We spend too recklessly, laugh too little, drive too fast, get too angry too quickly, stay up too late, read too seldom, love too little and lie too often. We've learned how to make a living but not always how to make a life. And we've added years to life but not life to years. We've conquered outer space but not inner space. We've done larger things but not better things. We've started to clean up the air but polluted the soul. We've split the atom but not our prejudice. We write more but learn less, plan more but accomplish less. These are the times of more leisure but less fun, more food and less nutrition. These are the days of quick trips, disposable diapers, and throwaway morality. And so we need this time of interfaith prayer to remind us that sometimes there is much in the show window and little in the stockroom. And so as we begin our evening, let us pray that if we are weary, give us strength. If we are discouraged, give us hope. If we have forgotten how to make a difference in the world, remind us. If we have been careless of time, forgive us. And if our hearts have been chilled by indifference, warm them with your mercy. May we come to understand that what really counts most is not the years, but the days. Not the machines in our lives, but the people in our lives. Not how much we can accumulate, but how much we can share and with whom. As we begin to honor four extraordinary treasures of our community, may God bless each of us with every happiness, with great health, with everlasting peace, and with much love. Amen. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim, with the name of God, merciful benefactor, merciful redeemer. This is a special space that we're in tonight. Uh, it's very difficult to find a more diverse uh, group of people anywhere in Atlanta than right here. And so take advantage of this opportunity to, to see this diversity not as a threat, but as a blessing. You may hear a few calls to prayer. You know, we, we already had our fourth prayer of the night, Margaret prayer, but uh, some of the phones may go off and you'll hear a call to prayer, but that's just for the nighttime prayer, which we can delay. So I just want to make sure those who are our guests, they understand why all of these phones are calling out these beautiful words that God is greater, God is greater. Let us pray. O oh God of us all, surely you are greater than any of us and all of us can imagine or image. Yet you overlook our inadequate estimations of you and you still listen and answer our prayers. We ask you tonight to help us to be better understood. We 
ask you to help us to appreciate one another and appreciate the other. Help us to see our inherent differences as gifts and our chosen differences as invitations to engagement and exchange. Bless us to overcome our fear, our hate, our apathy, our prejudice, and our hypocrisy. May we work to promote truth and compassion. May we work to promote integrity and collaboration across face, across ethnicities, and even across political persuasions. Oh God, give each of us the strength and fortitude to call ourselves and our city, our state, our nation, and our world to decency, to justice, to enlightenment, to goodness, to forgiveness, to reconciliation, and to peace. O oh God, to you belongs the sovereignty, to you belongs the praise, and you have power to change hearts and to lead us to fulfillment both here and hereafter. Now we ask that you bless the food that we are to eat to be nourishing for our bodies. Bless our hearts with humility. Bless our minds with enlightenment. Bless our souls with fulfillment. And bless our prayers to be answered. Amen. Thank you for being here. Let us enjoy one another. God's peace be with you. Assalamu alaikum. <laughs>